Hi, this video is a manual for flat risk map in responsibility for GIS project. First, open our map application and choose blank map and click OK. And then click add data button here to add Malaysia shape file data. and elevation in Malaysia data. After that, right click here to open attribute table to choose Jelly District data. After selecting Jelly District, right click again on the selected layer to open option window and choose selection and click on the create layer from selected features. After that, we can remove unwanted layers from the map. After that, right-click on the layer and select data and export data. Click on the file button here and rename it as Jelly. And don't forget to click shape file and click save. Click OK and click Yes. Now, we can remove the unwanted layer. Let's move on to the clipping of the elevation data map. Open up the Art Toolbox and choose Data Management Tools and choose Raster and after that, Raster Processing and choose Clip. After that, add Input Raster, insert the elevation data. Add Output Ads then Choose Jelly Shape File And now click Add Don't forget to tick the Use Input Features for Clipping Geometry box And click OK And now we can see the elevation data has been clipped onto the Jelly District player After that we have to reclassify the elevation data. At Art Toolbox, choose Special Analyst Tools and choose Reclass and choose Reclassify. At the Input Raster option, choose the elevation data. And then, change the new values of the reclassification like this. Don't forget to tick the box here. To rename the reclassified data, choose this button and rename it as Project GIS and click Save. And click OK. Now wait for the reclassifying process to finish. And the reclassified data will be shown like this. After that, add Art Toolbox, choose Conversion Tools, and choose from Raster, and then choose Raster to Polygon. Add the Input Raster, choose Project GIS Layer, and now rename the layer as Level of Flood Level, and click Save, and click OK. Wait the process until it is done. And now, the new layer of level flood level has been created. Let's remove the project GIS layer. After that, right click on the level of flood level layer and choose properties. And click symbology and click categories. And then add the value field option, choose quick code. And click add all values button. Then. Change the label to most floodable and less floodable. Delete the quick code and untick the box here. Click OK and the layer will be like this. Next, click the color box here to change the color of the layer to the preferable color.
we name the layer as the level of floodability. Remove the clipped elevation data. Next, add the water data, which are river and water basin in the area. Export the data by right clicking on the layer and choose data and choose export data. For water noise layer, we name it as river. Click save and click OK. And click yes. Do the same for the water area data but we name it as water area and don't forget the data must be saved as shapefile type now we can remove the original water data to clip the vector data which is river and water area click the geo processing and choose clip at input features choose the river data At clip features, choose delete district shape file. Then, at output feature class, rename it as river in Jelly. Click save and click OK. Wait until the clipping process is done. Next, clip the water area data onto the Jelly district. Use the same steps as clipping the river data. As the water area is not redundant on the jelly district layer, let's remove it. And now we can remove the river layer as we have the river in jelly layer. And now we have reached the end of this manual. Don't forget to save.